Frontier have just posted a feature list and FAQ for the already announced console to PC Elite Dangerous account copy process including an expected release window for the service essentially giving console commanders an opportunity to play Elite Dangerous Odyssey on their existing commander save if they take advantage of it. The extensive post on the forums from community manager Bruce Garrido went up just before midday today UK time and contains a complete rundown of all the features the service will include and it has to be said it's pretty extensive. Here are those main features. The following will be copyable to the PC platform. Your commander name if it's not already taken on the PC side. If it is taken you'll be given the opportunity to choose a new one as part of the process. All ships and engineered modules on them, your hollow me, weapons, SRVs and SLFs. This includes the Cobra Mark IV if you own it. Any credit balance, any modules in storage including any engineered community goal and power play modules, your progression in the following areas. Inventory, Reputation, Navy Ranks, Permits, the Codex with all discoveries and information gathered, Engineering Process, Tech Broker Progress, Power Play Progress you'll remain pledged to the same power at the same level with the same access to Power Play Rewards, any NPC crew names, appearance and progress, any in-game customizations such as paint jobs, bobbleheads and ship kits etc and any existing customizations will remain applied so your commander and ships will appear exactly the same as they did on the console. The following will not be copied over. Your commander name if it's already in use. Any remaining arcs balance. Frontier are recommending that you spend those arcs before the transfer unless you want them to remain on the console account. Any squadron memberships, friends list, block lists and private groups. This is simply because those are not duplicated across the platforms. Any current mission progress and any fleet carriers and their contents. Frontier have said that they are looking at a number of options for fleet carriers and contents and will update again nearer the time. The post also states that should commanders wish to merge the console account into an existing PC account that is also an option if the PC account commander save is wiped first. As Frontier mentioned previously this is an account copy. Your console account will not be wiped by the process so should you choose to avail yourself of the service then you'll end up with a still active console account and a brand new PC copy of it. Even if you have no immediate plans to jump to the PC it's probably worth registering an account when the time comes and taking advantage of the opportunity because you never know just in case. As for when this will be available the current plan has eyeballed September this year for the targeted start of the opportunity and as I mentioned there's a pretty extensive fact attached to the post so if you have any further questions the chances are it's been answered on there. Frontier do seem to have covered off most of the bases here and given the horrible situation console commanders have found themselves in short of Odyssey being brought to the console platforms this seems to be a pretty solid offering with Frontier seemingly keen to go above and beyond with it. Are you planning on using the service in September? Perhaps even if you don't yet have a PC to play it on? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video consider subscribing to the channel and maybe take a look at one of our other videos linked on screen right now.